all welcome Mr. Father Suleiman on the stage. My name is Fadl Suleiman. Fadl Suleiman. I am 45 years old. I look 65. I am married. Yes, yes, it exists. Well, uh, Al Qaeda existed in uh, Afghanistan before 9/11. Uh, it's more about telling people enough condemning terrorism. We all condemn terrorism. Let's now explore the root causes of terrorism in order to defeat it. So can you imagine this, that the biggest crime, which is terrorism, which we are uh, uh, warning people from falling into it, have to be more responsible than individuals. So it is not acceptable from any individual to take part in killing civilians and it's more not acceptable from any government to take part of in killing individuals or in killing that's exactly what's happening with muslims now they are intimidating muslims all the time provoking muslims all the time number one with the satanic verses of salman rushdie and then with the cartoon in denmark and then republishing the cartoon everywhere and then burning the quran and then and they say why Muslims are fighting, why Muslims are, are angry, why Muslims are shouting, why Muslims are killing. We were trying to tell people here that we share the blame. We share the blame. We have to cooperate together in order to end terrorism. Which means that it is the duty of every follower of Prophet Muhammad to educate people about the truth of Islam. In Hong Kong, don't know about Islam. This is not their mistake. Is the mistake of Muslims among them who are not educating them about Islam. What happened on 9-11 cannot be justified in Islam. What happened on 7-7 in London cannot be justified in Islam. What happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki still cannot be justified in Islam. Bombing 57 German cities in uh, uh, Germany during World War II, even if Hitler is that nasty, still cannot be justified in Islam because you are targeting innocent civilians and innocent civilians are innocent civilians. You have to understand that one innocent civilian in New York and London is equal to one innocent civilian in Gaza or Kabul. Why? Because I strongly believe that the problem in this world is not about terrorism, it's about racism. It's a very, very, very terrible terrorist attack. Not because 3,000 people died. It's because 3,000 Americans died. Had those people been 3,000 Germans, it would have been a very, very terrible attack, but not a third very. If they are 3,000 Greeks or Romanians, it would be a very terrible attack, but not a second very. Because the more you go towards the East, the cheaper people become. Had them been 3,000 Palestinians, it would have been no, Israel has the right to defend itself. It's equal to the killing of all of humanity. And saving one life is equal to the saving of all of humanity. That's what we need to understand. No text, no text in this world, whether human or divine, is safe from being misunderstood. Islamophobia did not start by 9-11 like some people think. No, Islamophobia started 14 centuries ago. Combat in the cause of Allah. You should have love in the cause of Allah like others. But the verse reads, combat in the cause of Allah, those who combat against you. And then it continues the same verse. And do not transgress your limits for Allah loves not transgressors. Tell me what is more beautiful than this? We understood that the media is not open for us. It's not fair what's happening to us. So we will do Bridges Foundation. We will reach out for non-Muslims in the streets, in churches, in universities. We will do movies to them. But we will reach you guys and tell you the truth. And then it's up to you to decide.